Matter of fact, that goes into the question that I wanted to ask before we had got up out of here. Because we keep talking, because we're asking about teaching and leadership. Women keep talking about being taught, being led. My question is this, though. Do women really want to be taught something? Like, we keep saying this, they, like, I want to be taught. He got to be able to teach me something. But then when you get around these bitches, they hard-headed than a motherfucker. They want to be taught. Like, motherfucker be like, yo, yo, yeah, I need a man to teach me this, teach me that. But then when you go over there and start teaching, the bitch looking out the window, you're like, hey, 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 I'm trying to teach you. And she's like, well, yeah, I hear you, but she focused on other things. So this is my question. Do women really want to be taught, though? Because I know we keep saying it as a talking point, but do you do women really want to be taught? So I'm going to ask the ladies. Is, do you really want to be taught by this man? Do you? I want to. You can't know. teach me nothing if you don't have any cash on you. Like, that's just what it is. Yo, this is a pimp game. I don't know. Talk about it. Okay. Oh, Izzy is not playing right now. Where is the air? You can't talk about that. Please pop your sheet. Go ahead, you pop your sheet. You know, what are you trying to teach me that I don't already know? Like, you can't yeah. tell me anything <laughs> without money. <laughs> mm. End of conversation. What is it? went high where I thought it was going to go. Smokey, what you saying? Are you really trying to be <laughs> Are you really put it ready? like this what y'all niggas teaching though because I mean mm-hmm. what what is really being taught because from what I'm seeing is it ain't much that y'all could even teach it's like no you have to go to the 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 the, uh, the other generation because those are the ones who got the real lessons it, it, yeah, what it's yeah, like. yeah. the ones you know that work with their hands and shit those mm-hmm. niggas yeah them you know Uncle Earl you know, <laughs> I want Earl. Give me Earl. I like Earl. I love you know about money? Give me Earl. I want him. Earl got his own Earl. little trucking company. He, <laughs> he don't do nothing but drink Hennessy and go home. I like him. Just, yeah. Earl can't teach you? Give so me wait, 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 wait. Earl can teach me everything. So real quick, and this is me responding to like what Izzy said. Because we were thinking, we're talking about teaching. Izzy outrightly said, you can't teach me nothing. If Let's you ain't got the money. So what if I was an old dumbass nigga, but a nigga was bred? I can teach you now? What can I teach you so? I'm going to do is show you a lifestyle. <clears throat> what can I teach you, though? That's not true. Money is literally the symbolism of, you know, you use your knowledge, your assets, Whatever you use to get that money, you were smart enough to utilize it to get that cash. I want to be like that. I want to know how you were able to obtain the only power that actually matters in this world. He won the Powerball. He he won the Powerball, but he ain't graduate shit. How many niggas you know won won the Powerball? Powerball. How many people do you know? That's, 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 and all uh, the Powerball analogy. winners, they end up broke. Like, you know, you hear a lot of the stories where they end up broke within a certain amount of time when they got that money because they don't yeah, know they how to spend it or they or they don't know how to use it or whatever have you. They haven't invested in it. Yeah, but you said that PPP loan money. came in and then now he bred it. Well, we're not talking about those people. Those are like those one of the guys. guys that, that's that's the only type of guy. Guy. Real niggas, we actually talk. You, what what numbers? Like obviously, they got something because they know exactly the numbers to like scratch together to win the Powerball. Teach me how you did that. I don't know. Like, but that's you what said I mean. that. But you said that money is symbolic to knowledge. It is. My thing is, you didn't have to know anything to get that PPP loan, to no. get that, to get to scam in jail, to get to get you in know, jail. <laughs> Oh, jail, yeah. jail, jail time. That's what that screams to me, honestly. That's not real money, honestly. And that's not your money. You said PPP loan, not your money. Hey, Scamming they, is they, not they really your money. And, they be taking that shit and running. Uh, I don't know. So I, so I, 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 get, I guess from this, I guess the wisdom lies within the men that don't get caught. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you. That's crazy. <laughs> he told the truth. <laughs> and, and I'm going to bring this up most likely on my show tomorrow. But I want to go ahead and bring it up tonight. Go ahead. Why don't y'all ladies seek for a res- uh, seek to find a man a respect first? That's what I seek. And I, I find that in older men first. That's the first thing they do different, too. Yeah, the younger men have a very disrespectful the way they talk. You all kind of bitches. 
they're cussing at you, they're too aggressive when they speak. When older men speak to you, they talk to you, they say they got lines for days, they make you smile all day, make you feel fuzzy inside, have you around there floating on air and shit, in La La Land and shit. Like, they, you, they just hit different. It just hit different. It just do. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just do. Like, they'll say some shit to you, be like, you like my fire or some shit. You'll be like, man, what the fuck you talking about? I don't, I don't know, but I like it. Whatever. Yeah, and like you just, yeah, shit. what you mean? <laughs> but that's what they're telling you, tell you best. <laughs> they ain't even saying no shit like that. They too cool. <laughs> they too cool. Right. What about you, Izzy? You see, what was you, the question you, again? Why do you think? I hear women say look for money, look for all, all kind of other characteristics, but I never see I'm looking for a man that I respect. Um I, respect. I mean I can respect the thing is is like I'm gonna lose respect for you if if we are broke together. That's, That's just said, what why, it's why be. For the very first thing. I look for somebody. No, respect. it's like I can have respect for you. I can respect people, of course. I'm a I'm a respectful person myself. But how am I supposed to respect you for you if, if I'm looking at you, you're looking at me, and we're both broke, and we're we can't even afford the dollar money off of McDonald's? Like, what the fuck type of respect is gonna pay the bills? It's like I'm gonna lose respect. I can have respect, but I can just lose it as easily. But if you don't respect that person. You shouldn't date them at all. Huh? I mean, I understand that you shouldn't date him at all if you don't respect that. You know what I mean? I just say, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't. Yeah, you should respect the money, nigga. And that's not even to be shallow because they let the label woman who knows their value and wants, you know, to be to be stable, you know, as shallow or gold diggers. But it's like you know, no one, no one calls men who like sleep out on like women and thing and like you know cheat and all that whores and like you know all that stuff no one says that about men but it's only women who want better for themselves I'm who knows right. their value that they call that it's like or we're not respectful like what because we want to be provided for which is honestly originally what was going down in society until women like advocated to work and then y'all flipped and say oh no we're 50 50 now like no, no, they say those women not women, those women, because I was not there to vote. Yeah, um, no, right, I was, not, right, 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 no, I was right. not there for that vote, and I don't feel like I don't, you, I'm trying to understand why I have to subscribe to this bullshit. But can you carry multiply on. ten thousand given to you? Huh? Can, can either one of y'all multiply ten thousand dollars given to you? Oh yeah, definitely. How long would that take for you if you had to if you had to estimate? Um, what two months? Uh, go ahead. Izzy. What's up? What you want to do? No, hold on. I, I'm listening. <laughs> uh, that hey, I can't be mad at that timeline. Go ahead. Izzy. <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you can you multiply? Absolutely, absolutely. I know how to make money. You know, I know how to. I know how to be. I've you know I'm. I know how to survive. I know how to make money. I know how to connect myself with people. I know how to control my emotions. So I know how to like you know definitely generate money you know i definitely know how to generate money in terms of a timeline i probably would say like you know a month or two two months to really like generate um you know double the income views right now if she a woman of multiplication i can't say she can't get a man with money i mean if she told me i don't know how to do that then yeah i would tell y'all y'all got expectations that y'all shouldn't have but if y'all can multiply that then Hey Izzy, so so oh, so so hey. what if what if you can, was a, what hey, if hey, you was, hey Izzy, what if what I if you was a, <laughs> what if he was a young nigga with an old soul? Does that not count at all? Like I mean, sure, but with? again, that one exists. in a million situation that exists. I won't even say I won't say that don't exist. It, that does exist. It's some young guys that really are some old men in the inside, and they probably had, you know grew up with their granddaddy. That is not a lot of that. It's very rare to find. But, but for still, the most but part, still gonna, but you still gonna look at him as little bro, bro, though. No, if he can prove himself that no. he's not. A, no, you got to Matter of fact, I can tell <laughs> yeah, you. That. <laughs> I can tell you straight up. I got more respect for a little twenty-five year old than I do most niggas. I know a twenty-five year old right now. The way he come, you know what I'm saying? I got more respect for him than I do most most men in general. It's just about the way he go about things. He's so mature, even with money. He's extremely mature in how he spends money. He doesn't waste money. He's mature in the way he does things, deal with people socially and stuff. Just the way he, he moves is very different from the average person. So I can't take that from him. 
And that's nobody I'm particularly interested in. But do I say little bro to him? Nah, because that man know more than me. That man know how to flip shit quicker than me. That man, that man got more experience and more wisdom about a whole lot of things than me. So I can't say that somebody I'm learning from, you know what I'm saying, is a little bro. That man ain't but got that, wisdom that, beyond that the goes in, That goes right into what Kale was asking earlier. Does the age really matter? Because if he's that young and he has that more not has that much knowledge, he can still lead you. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying I'm speaking generally. I'm not speaking about these one in a million niggas. Yeah, you can't <laughs> one of the situations. Like There's that's a lot of them guys out. It's not that one percent powerful. We gonna keep saying that for the rest of everybody. Listen, become a one percenter. You look here, <laughs> black guys. Y'all know the one percenter is in the black community. There's a hundred thousand dollar K. Um, guy with high morals and standards, become he ain't gotta be a millionaire. Just go ahead and get your 100k. Come with that one percent women that respect you. I promise you, they're already telling you they respect you. Get some money in your pocket, go ahead and put some money in your pocket, become rare. And it ain't hard to become rare in the black community, not in America. I promise you. 